Room camera and uh, Dr. Hare, first of all, talk me through exactly what you think has gone wrong here for BA. Well, we don't know yet, and I think it's actually really important not to prejudge it. British Airways is going to have to bring in most likely outside help, and they've also alerted the National Cybersecurity Centre, the National Crime Agency, the police, and the Information Commissioner's Office. So you can imagine they are dealing with both authorities to help with a forensic investigation of this crime, the criminal nature of it, which will be the, the people side, and then also liaising with the regulator, that's the ICO, because they have to make sure that everything is being done in case there's going to be any fines issued under the General uh, Data Protection Regulation, the GDPR, which just came into effect this year. So we don't want to prejudge anything about how this has happened yet. We don't know. Yes, I want to talk to you about GDPR because that did come into effect in May and this could be, in some senses, a good test case, couldn't it? Yep, it is. So it came into effect on the 25th of May and it's important to underscore that the GDPR isn't just meant to sort of punish anyone that's had a breach, right? Because breaches are going to be part of life. We are all online now. Most businesses are online. It's more about making sure, did companies do everything possible to check that they were keeping your data secure? And what we have been given to understand from British Airways so far is that their encryption was not breached. In fact, what they're saying is that it seems to be a very sophisticated attack that suggests it could be something new that was allowing them perhaps to take data during the actual transaction itself rather than going in and raiding a database ex post facto. So how do you police against that? I mean, it just seems almost impossible, doesn't it, to know? Well, I mean, this is the problem with technology is that sometimes the most innovative people are either going to be your top researchers and scholars and coders and your criminals. So you will protect about it once you figure out how they did it, then you can mitigate against it. I was talking to a security expert earlier today and he said to me, for many companies, it's not a question of whether you're going to be hacked, it's when you're going to be hacked. It's so difficult to work out how the hackers are going to hit you next and where they'll do it. Yeah, and most companies don't realize, or most organizations don't realize that they've even been breached. What's actually very interesting about this one is the specificity. They know the exact time bounding. It's a 15-day period from August 21st to September 5th. They realized on the 5th that they had been breached. Again, that's really unusual. Most companies, it's like 180 days on average before they're aware that there was even someone in their accounts. So it sounds like they're on the case. They're looking through it, and right now it's more about what do customers need to do. We're talking about 380,000 people in order to protect their, their financial data from being compromised. And what advice do you have for anyone who has been contacted by BA or is worried? Well, they're telling people to contact their credit card or their bank agency, and I think that's probably very accurate. As a precaution, you could cancel your cards right away, change your online passwords. You want to monitor your accounts for any unusual activity and report anything that you think is incorrect, because British Airways has come out straight away and said they will be providing financial compensation for any financial activity that's fraudulent as a result of this breach. Okay, Dr. Stephanie Hare, so good to get you. Thank you, oh, thank you thank so you. much.